The Element Bolt is the second computer from Wahoo, makers of the Kicker Smart Trainer. There's a lot of cool stuff going on in this small little black and white device. First off, it's very much a smartphone friendly computer. To get the thing set up, you need the smartphone app where you can drop and drag which fields go where. You can scroll through the amount of fields and which fields you're seeing with the buttons. There are two buttons on the side which control the zoom in, zoom out for the maps and for the number of fields. Uh, there's three buttons on the face and then the power settings button on the side. You can also get Strava live segments and your routes to auto populate on the computer with a simple pairing of the phone. That's a, that's a plus. The screen is black and white, but it's fairly crisp. For the alphanumeric information, whether that's text or just looking at your speed, power, heart rate, et cetera, those type of metrics, very easy to see on the screen. In fact, I think it's a little bit easier to see in varying light conditions than Garmin. When following navigation, however, the black and white is a negative. It can be muddled, especially if you're in a very dense area where there are a lot of roads crisscrossing. It's hard to, to follow the, the black chevrons on a black and white map. Now Wahoo claims that this computer will not only make you fast, but it's fast itself. It's the first computer that was designed to be integrated with the mount, and Wahoo says it has about 50% less drag than the comparably sized Garmin Edge 520 with its respective mount. Now looking at the two designs side by side, that's not hard to believe. This is uh, nice and flush and a, a single line. How big of a deal the computer and the mount in terms of drag makes the overall package, it's minimal, but it's a fun talking point. The zoom in, zoom out buttons allow for on the fly customization of what you're seeing. So most computers have uh, the ability to scroll through pages, which this of course has. What is unique about this is on any page, you can zoom in to go from nine fields to one field. So if you just wanna concentrate on a couple things, you can do that if you have decreasing eyesight, uh, that can be a, a positive thing also. Another cool thing that the Bolt has that carries over from the original element is LED lights. And these can be programmed to function how you like. Uh, if you're using navigation, you can have them alert you to when a turn is coming up and which direction you're supposed to turn in. Uh, that's a handy thing when you're in a high traffic area and you don't want to be just staring at the unit. You can, at a glance, uh, see which way you're supposed to go, which is kind of the whole idea of a navigation unit. Uh, you can also use it for training. You can have it set for you know, over under alerts for power, speed, heart rate, etc. You can use that in conjunction with Strava Live segments to let you know whether you are on target ahead or behind of your, your pace time. So that's a cool feature that other computers do not have. The ease of use in terms of connectivity is fantastic. Uh, you can upload your rides when you're done via Bluetooth to your phone. Uh, and after a one-time fiddling with settings, you can have it go not only to Wahoo's site, but to all your favorite sites like Strava. Battery life on this little guy is awesome. Perhaps not awesome, but I found at least two and a half to three times better than Garmin when using navigation. Garmin Edge claims 15 hours battery life. I found it more like four and a half when using navigation. Uh, and this is at least two and a half to three times that. So that's a, a huge perk. One navigation thing that I miss coming from uh, a Garmin Edge product is the ability to shift the map left or right. So the up-down buttons are great for zooming in and out. Zoom functionality, far superior to Garmin Edge, is just easy to press a button. You don't have to uh, surf around or try to get the touch screen to work like you do on the 820. But if you want to look pan left or right, that's not something you can do. So that's, that's something that I miss. Wahoo Element pioneered the group live track where if, if you and your friends have Element computers tethered to your smartphones, you can see each other in terms of respective position on your screens. If all that is in place and you have good cell coverage, that can be a handy feature. So made by the company that makes the Kicker Smart Trainer, of course, this works well with indoor trainers. You can use it to simply record data from indoor trainers or power meters, anything that connects via Ant Plus or Bluetooth. Uh, but you can also use it to drive an indoor trainer. You can set the resistance for the smart trainer, change the power on the fly, all the while recording your ride. So the Element Bolt and its aero mounts may be the fastest setup on the market. But for me, what's most compelling is that it's a great little unit at a good price. It's easy to use, 
whether you're setting it up with your smartphone or just on the road, the buttons, especially the zoom in, zoom out buttons work quite well. And then with uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, your rides are on the cloud and on Strava before you've got your bike put away. This is not yet the Garmin killer, but it is a worthy competitor. Uh, for the price, the functionality is the same in many ways, superior in some, and it's only the execution of navigation where Garmin still leads the bolt. But if you're looking for a solid GPS computer with great battery life at a decent price, the Element Bolt is certainly worth a look.